la máquina deportiva, la factoría a nivel mundial de los deportes. You certainly heard the home crowd booing you every time you came to the plate. Do you enjoy playing the villain when you're on the road? Eh, creo que de estos juegos cuando sabe que se ponen con emoción, que las gradas están llenas y gritando, creo que eso a mí me, en, lo, en lo particular a mí me gusta y yo disfruto del juego cuando es así. I think that these types of games, when there's a lot of emotion, you know, the fans out there, they're rallying for the team, it just fuels me, you know? It's just motivation that helps me out when I'm playing. Kevin on the third row here. Ad Adelis. Adelis, we're used to seeing your emotions and what you do for the team and what you bring to that dugout, but uh, Corey Seager and, and, and Bruce Bochy just talked about that when he came back to the dugout after his home run, how excited he seemed. I'm wondering what that did for y'all as far as uh, where you picked it up from there. Eh, creo que a mí mismo yo me sorprendí y me dio como que ese, esa inyección de energía cuando yo vi a Cory así emocionado. Todos sabemos que Cory es una persona bien callada, bien tranquila y, y él estaba luchando también por ayudarnos a esta victoria y creo que eso eh, nos dio ese empujón de energía que necesitábamos. I think that gave me a boost, really, an injection of energy. Um, we're used to seeing Corey, he's someone who's calm, someone who, you know, um, doesn't show his emotions too much. But once I saw that, he came into the dugout, it was something that just, it made me really feel that energy and gave me that boost to go out there and perform. Go seated far back on your right. Hi, um, when you go back to your uh, baseball career, uh, when you left Japan in 2016, you made a big decision. Uh, what does it mean to you, that decision for you, and then how do you think about, uh, look back at the time, what do you think? I think primero que todo fue una experiencia muy bonita me gustó mucho jugar en, eh, via, visitar Japón y jugar allá eh, creo que en ese momento ya yo desde Cuba pensaba de jugar en, en Grandes Ligas creo que era uno de los sueños que tenía y así fue como lo decidí I think it was a really beautiful experience really the one that I had in Japan it was great it was amazing I had a great time there I think that once I was in Cuba and I knew that I was leaving I always had my sights set on playing baseball in the United States So that's kind of like how it uh, uh, went through. The fourth row on your left. I was going a little bit further back from your, uh, at your time in, uh, in Cuba. I'm wondering if you have had the chance to take it all in, the journey, the, the long journey that you've had to get to here and uh, what this moment means to you, having all of that in mind. Creo que significa mucho. Eh, yo en lo personal, sabe, como muchos otros, hemos, hemos pasado por muchas cosas. Eh, de salir de nuestro país, venir con un sueño, tratar de triunfar aquí. Eh, no lo pude lograr temprano en mi carrera, pero creo que no me rendí. Hoy vale la pena lo, todo, por todo lo que me está pasando. It really means a lot, you know. Um, I personally, I, you know, I went. I know the struggle that I went through, struggles that we go through when we're trying to, you know, um, leave, get play, play outside baseball. And I know just everything that I had to go through and the struggle just to get to where I am today. So I'm really grateful for that. And then uh, your teammates have spoken time and time again about how you are the guy that they want at the plate uh, in hostile conditions such as uh, this whole series here. What is it about those moments and what is it about playing on the road with fans rooting against you that uh, fuels you that way? Eh, bueno, yo siempre digo que eh, pongo mi confianza siempre en Dios que lo va a hacer por mí. Eh, mis compañeros saben que trato siempre de ayudarlos a ganar. Eh, siempre trato de apoyarlo y como ellos mismos me apoyan trato de darle eso sabe de regreso y creo que en esos momentos simplemente estoy pensando en ayudar a la victoria y creo que hasta ahora me ha salido bien like I always say I put my faith in God first and you know he helps me out in those types of situations um, I believe that my teammates trust me in those situations as well um, I think that they deposit their trust in me they're seeing how I want to try to perform to help the team win so I think that's that's how it happens and one row in front and your left Adolis throughout the postseason you guys have had incredible success wherever you've played but you are eight and zero away from Arlington what is it about this team's resiliency to To go on the road and be able to have the type of success you've had. Creo que el equipo eh, siempre se mantiene pensando en cómo hacer las cosas pequeñas, en ayudarla a ganar, que es lo que importa. 
eh, nadie está tratando de ser el héroe y creo que eso es lo que nos ayuda mucho, es que todo el mundo está tratando de aportar su granito de arena para ganar y creo que no importa si es en Arlington o es fuera, estamos pensando siempre en cómo podemos aportar la, a la victoria. I think that the team, they're just good at focusing, or we're good at focusing on the little things. We really just try to, you know, look at what we need to do, uh, little things to get that win or to just be successful. So I think that's really been key for us in having that success on the road as well. <laughs> Si buscas felicidad